Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions. Now in some of my past videos, I made a super unique V8 printing head design that even had a movable blower piece on top. But in reality, this was only a V-twin design with two fans here that looked like a V8. So today we're gonna take it to the next level and make a real V8 printing head design. Let's go. So to make a V8 printing head, there's no way I could use these huge 4010 fans. I mean, that would just be huge and ridiculous, right? So I purchased some smaller fans to see if these could work for the V8 printing head. So the first one is a 20 millimeter diameter by 10 millimeter depth, a 2010 fan. The next one's a 2006, 20 by six millimeters. And this final one was pretty expensive, but it's a 1503, 15 millimeter diameter by just three millimeters thick. And even though these fans are much smaller, they're the same power consumption as this larger fan here. And the CFM or the airflow is way less. So it's a very, very inefficient solution. But this is not meant to be a mainstream printing head. This is just for fun. So in the name of fun, let's get to some smoke testing. So I recently purchased this smoke machine to help you, the viewers, visualize some of the fan airflow in my videos. So I figured there's no better time than now to try it out. So I'm going to try and use these fans to suck the smoke out of the cup. And first up is the 2010 fan. And that one took about six seconds. Next up, the slightly thinner 2006 fan, a little slower at six and a half seconds. And now the smallest 1503 fan. And we can see here, this fan is really struggling and basically did not even finish. And finally, for comparison, I tested a 4010 fan, but it looks like the smoke is getting a little bit stuck in here and ended up at five seconds. But let's try a different test. So next I did a test where I dropped the fans into the cup and let it blow the smoke out. So here's the 2010 fan at four seconds. And again, the thinner 2006 fan at three and a half seconds. Now let's test the 1503 fan again and give it a shot at redemption. This time it actually finished the test, but it took a long seven seconds. And finally the 4010 fan. And that was pretty much instant, just two seconds. So based on the super scientific testing, the 1503 fan is not gonna work for us. So I ended up choosing the 2006 fan due to its smaller form factor and its good enough performance. And now let's move on to the printing head design. All right, so here's my first attempt to make a V8 printing head. I split this model in half so it'd be a little bit easier and faster to print, um, but I'll go over the basics here. So we've got four fans or cylinders on each side making the V8. Um, the first three fans or cylinders are gonna be pointed at the nozzle here. So this printing nozzle will mount something like this. Those first three fans will be there for part cooling. And then what I tried to do with the fourth one back here was direct that uh, inside here to the heat sink. So that this way I potentially don't have to put an extra fan on the front to cool this uh, heater block here. And now for the fans, I'll be using these 2006 fans. I'll be screwing those on here with some M2 hardware. And then for now, I've got just a mock-up uh, valve cover here, which will act as the fan finger guard and kind of pull that look together. So I've got some wiring and mock-up work to do, so let's get that done and meet back here to take a look. So here I'm assembling the four pistons, I mean fans, with the proper torque values to make sure we don't get any blown head gaskets when we're doing our testing. And so far, so good, looking pretty sharp. All right, so I've got half the printing end here connected with four fans and wired up. So I'm gonna turn it on and see how it goes. Got a little bit of airflow there, not too much. So these fans are taking a while to spool up. There we go. Now it looks like the fans are going full blast here. I can feel a little bit of airflow movement here, not too much. Okay, since I don't know the power output of this main board, I'm not sure how many fans I can actually power. So we tested four, that was no problem. Now I have an additional four here that are all hooked individually. So I'm gonna start hooking those up one by one through the spreadboard and see how many fans we can power. All right, so there's our first four. There's number five. Number six. Number seven. And number eight. So they're all hooked up. Heat fans hooked up and running, that is awesome. And they're kind of roaring too. Sounds pretty cool. 
There's about half speed. Not a whole lot of airflow at half speed. Might have to be running these uh, full throttle the whole time. Put the microphone down here so we can hear the startup. Now we've got the V8 printing head mocked up and sitting in place. Uh, everything's kind of just hanging there, so it's not the final solution, but just wanted to see a relative uh, size and scale, how everything fits together. Do have a couple big challenges yet, like where to route these wires down here for the heater and the temp sensor. You can see they're interfering pretty much with these header tubes here. Um, other than that, things are looking pretty good. You can see the side profile there of the headers. They look pretty awesome, I think. Um, valve covers are just uh, sitting on there, but you can see how those are how those are fitting there, hiding the wires, which is nice. All right, now I'd like to request some feedback from you, the audience, on how I should finish out this design. So as far as the extruder area here, should I put in a plastic shroud to fill it out and make it look like a proper blower, or should I leave it like it is and show off the orbiter extruder here? And for the front hot end area here, there's maybe three options. Should I leave it open as it is and show off the hot end there? Don't worry, I'll change that out for a prettier uh, dragonfly hot end. Option number two, should I put a touch probe in the front here, center that up here? Or if I don't put it there, I can put the touch probe off to the side to kind of mimic an oil filter. Or option three, I can get rid of these side fan ducts here and I can put a fan in the front to blow on that hot end and pull the look together that way. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So there we have it, looks pretty good here. I do have this mocked up for a reason, so I'm gonna use the smoke machine and put some smoke into the fans here and see how that looks and how that's flowing. So let's get to that next.